So there's been a lot of Arrowverse news recently, and I do feel obligated to talk about it, but I've been a bit busy recently with some other stuff. So today I'm going to talk about The Flash. I'm going to get to the news about Batwoman at some point down the line. So, firstly, I would like to say there's going to be major spoilers for The Flash Season 6, so if you don't want to know anything about Season 6 of The Flash, or Crisis on Infinite Earth, I should add, then don't watch this video. Okay. So, firstly, we'll recap what happened with The Flash and his powers. So, in Part 4 of Crisis on Infinite Earth, the Spectre, who was at the time Oliver Queen, showed up and... Barry asked, can you give me access to the speed force, give me the energy boost I need. Spectre, of course, complies, gives Barry the speed he needs. This had long-lasting effects. Because Barry getting an energy boost from the Spectre killed the speed force, which isn't good because speedster minus speed force equals no speedster powers. And that goes the same for any other species in the Arrowverse. I'm not counting any of the other universes because, well, the main Arrowverse characters don't know they exist yet because they thought the multiverse was destroyed. So, what does this mean for the Flash and his powers? Well, we've seen in recent episodes that Barry and Team Flash are trying to make an artificial speed force similar to what Eobard Thorne did. In Season 5, it's revealed that Reverse Flash, Eobard Thorne, created what he called the Negative Speed Force. And there's an Instagram used by the name of Grant Flashfacts for Real One. I'm not sure if I'm getting that right, credit to him for this theory. The, the reason Reverse Flash wasn't in Crisis was because he was in the Negative Speed Force during that time. And we know the Negative Speed Force is immune to timeline changes. So that is entirely plausible. However, I've seen an interesting theory about how Barry's going to get the artificial speed force to work, and it's on an Instagram post by the Instagram user everything underscore Arrowverse, credit to him for this theory. So, the theory states, and I quote, Barry will create a new tachyon device, similar to Tony Stark's arc reactor, that generates a speed force aura around him when he runs. This new device will provide him and other metafumes who formerly had speed abilities infinite access to the new artificial speed force. So this could mean we may see the old Jay Garrick from before Crisis show up again in the Arrowverse, and maybe Jesse and Harry could still be alive, though I, I very much doubt that because... Well, they're probably dead. I mean, Earth 2 was decimated during Arrow, so... I wouldn't expect them to bring Jesse and Harry back. However, there is also a theory that... Well, there isn't a theory, but... Well, the theory is that Nash Wells has all the other... Wells from the multiverse stored inside his own mind. So that's why he was seeing some other visions. That's why he saw the vision of Harry and why he saw the vision of Sherlock. Although that was Reverse Flash. And speaking of Reverse Flash, there's actually a theory I want to touch on about him. So, as you know, there was an animation I put up on the channel quite a while ago called The Flash Red Death. And there's been a couple of Easter eggs referencing Red Death in The Flash. Because in The Flash Season 5, in one of the episodes, Captain Singh says, Flash did everything he could, but Cicada killed more people than Zoom, or even the Red Death. So, Red Death at some point will possibly show up in the Arrowverse. And the rumour is that Godspeed and Reverse Flash will be the two main villains for Season 7. Now, the reason that is, is mainly for two reasons. One, originally the end of Season 6 was going to involve a Reverse Flash cliffhanger. Due to the current pandemic, most of the CW productions have been forced to shut down. However, some shows have been given the green light to resume production on shows. It's happened here in the UK for some of the TV soaps, but it hasn't happened for any other shows. The Batman also has been given the green light to resume production, but 
no word on that yet. So the theory is the Reverse Flash could potentially possess either Bruce Wayne or Bloodwork, Ramsey Russo, and I'm going to dive into those right now. So the reason the Red Death should appear in the Arrowverse is because I think he'd fit in very well, and plus this could provide a useful reason for a Batwoman slash Flash crossover, because we haven't really gotten one yet. And plus we haven't seen Kate Kane and the Flash interact since Crisis, which was last year. And it would be pretty interesting to see Bruce Wayne in the Arrowverse after Batwoman, and apparently Bruce Wayne could well, he's rumoured to be a major point of the next crossover, which will be between Superman and Lois, and Batwoman. Now, yes, I am aware that Ruby Rose has left the show. I will be addressing my thoughts on that in a later episode. So, the theory is that Reverse Flash will possess Bruce Wayne and become Red Death. And how that works is, well, it was presented in The Exorcism of Nash Wells in episode 15 of season 6, which I thought was pretty interesting. However, I've seen a more interesting theory that I think is amazing. So the theory is that Reverse Flash could potentially, and this is potentially, possess blood work, and it could create a combination of Reverse Flash's speech powers, along with blood work's creepier powers. I don't exactly know what to call them. Blood powers? Uh, that just sounds a bit weird. So, we could get the Arrowverse version of Red Death as Ramsey Russo, though I'm not sure if the CW and the Arrowverse would want to pull off a twist like that. Again, it's entirely up to the Arrowverse writers. Hopefully they go down this route because that would be pretty cool to see. And in terms of if we'll see any other Speezer characters going forward in the Flash, I definitely hope so. Godspeed is apparently rumored to be the Season 7 villain, which is just amazing to think about. Because apparently he could be Eddie Thorne, and I don't even want to go into any of the insane theories on my end. So that does it for this video. If you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care.